Welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to solve numericals from the chapter number 8, Motion. And we are going to solve the final exercise of this chapter. This chapter is under CBSE standard 9 syllabus. So this is the first numerical of the final exercise that an athlete completes one round of circular track of diameter 200 meter in 40 seconds. So this athlete here is covering this one round and that is of diameter 200 diameter 200 meter this is a track and he covers this in a time of 40 second so this much distance if he starts from here and he goes like this then he covers and come back here in 40 second so one round one round he take in 40 second now they are asking that what will be the distance covered and displacement at the end of 2 minute 20 second. So at the end of at the end of 2 minute 20 second if he keep on going like this then after 2 minutes 20 second where he will reach how much distance he will cover and how much displacement will be there for him. Now why we have to find out the displacement because once he will start from here and coming back at the same position his displacement will be zero. If the final position and initial position is the same then the displacement will be zero. So if he takes one full round then yes he covers some distance but his displacement will be zero. So after this much time period we have to find out that what will be his distance and what will be his displacement. So first we have to find out that what is this total distance. One round's distance is how much. So we have to check this distance and how to calculate this distance. This is a circle. So once we will calculate the circumference of circle then we will get the distance. Then in one round how much distance he will cover. So from there we will start the numerical that first we will find out the circumference and then we will check how many rounds he will take in this much time period. So now we know that the 40 second is there for one round. When he covers one full round he took 40 second. So in 2 minute 20 second how many rounds he will take, how much distance he will cover and where will be his displacement. So first let us convert this into second. So 2 minute is there so we will convert this into second so we will get 120 second and then we will add this 20 second so it is going to completely 140 second so distance and displacement we have to find for this much time for this much time we have to find out the distance and displacement so first we will find out the distance for one track so the distance cover in one round equals to 2 pi r. Why it is 2 pi r? Because he takes one full round here and he is traveling on the circular path. So once we will find out the circumference of the circle we will get the distance and this is the circumference of the circle. So here we will get 2 into 22 by 7 that is the value of pi into r. Now here they have given the diameter. So from diameter we will get the radius of the circle that is 200 divided by 2 and we will get 100 meter. So 100 meter is the radius of this circle. They have not given the radius. So they have given the diameter. So from that we have find out the radius. So here we will write 100. R is the radius and here we have put the radius. So 2 into 200 we will get 200 into 22 by 7 meter will be the distance for one round. That much distance he cover in 40 second and in one round. Now we have to find out that if with same speed he will cover then in 140 second how much distance he will cover. So distance cover in 40 second equals to 200 into 22 by 7 meter. Why? Because in 40 second he takes one round and this much distance. So in 140 second, 
so distance cover in 140 second is how much that we have to find out so this term in multiplication with this term in divided with this so we will get here 200 into 22 by 7 into 140 this is unitary method so we will get here 140 in division with 40 second so this is 40 now we can cut this 0 and 0 and this 4 we were writing here 4 5s are 20 so we will get here 5 into 22 by 7 in multiplication with 140 so once we will solve this we will get 2200 meter now this much distance athlete will cover when he travels or when he runs for 140 second now from this distance we have to find out the displacement we have to find out the displacement so this is our first answer this is our first answer that in 140 second that in 2 minute 20 second how much distance he will cover 2200 meter distance he will cover now we have to find out the displacement so how we can find out the displacement that one round is of this much distance then in this much distance how many rounds he will take so similarly we will find out that how many rounds he will take if he will take two rounds then his displacement will be zero because at the end of second round he will come here only his displacement will be zero if something more than the whole number is there then only we can calculate the displacement so here we will find out that one round equals to 200 into 22 by 7 meter distance is there then we have how much distance 2200 2200 meter distance we have then how many rounds he will cover so we can write here 2200 into 1 in division with this that 200 into 22 by 7 once we will solve this we will get here 3.5 and these are the rounds that this many rounds athlete will take so after end of 3 rounds after end of third round his displacement will be zero because he is starting from here and coming back here again so after third round his displacement is zero but we have to find out for this half a distance that 0.5 round we have to find out for this 0.5 round because that 0.5 round that half a circle will give us a displacement now to calculate this half round what can we do is our radius is 100 meter our radius is 100 meter and how to check the radius what is a radius if this is a center of the circle this is a radius and if we are talking about a half a circle if we will multiply 2 with the radius then we will get a distance of half a circle that it is 200 meter then we will get a distance of half a circle or half a round that athlete takes after third round after 3.5 round his displacement will be only half a round because at the end of the third round his displacement will be zero because his initial and final position will be zero so we have to calculate his displacement for only half a round at the last so that half round how we will calculate r equals to 100 into 2 when we will multiply 2 with the radius we will get the distance for half a circle we will get the distance for half a circle and that is 200 meter even the diameter is 200 meter diameter cut the circle from the half diameter cut the circle from the half so that also we can take here that also we can take here the distance of the circle will be 200 meter for half a round.